Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are more awake than I am. I'm on my uh, second cup of Java, mostly because I messed up the uh, first shot of the first coffee being made. <laughs> I'm new at this whole video thing. Cut me some slack. Anyway, guys, today I am so excited because we're doing something completely different. Uh, we're actually going to go out and do a photo shoot and we're going to film. Uh, we're going to film a video of it. I'm really pumped. I'm going to teach you guys some things about uh, long exposure and uh, getting some cool water shots. We're actually going to head out to a place called Troll Falls. It's in um, uh, here in, in Kananaskis country, Western Alberta. Uh, it's about an hour and 20 minutes out of Calgary and it is a beautiful location. So guys, before we go upstairs and pack our gear, uh, make sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this kind of video and if you wanna see more stuff like this. All right, so I got my good buddy, Yosef here. He's gonna be joining us. Uh, he's my camera guy. So uh, we're gonna go through the gear now and then uh, we're gonna hit the road. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna be bringing our tripod because we're doing a lot of landscape photography today. And when possible, always use a tripod for landscape stuff, especially for the stuff we're gonna be doing for the long exposure stuff to get uh, that cool misty effect on the water. This guy here, just in case you wanna get nice and low to the ground. We're gonna take photos primarily on the Nikon D610. Uh, and I'm actually gonna use the lens that Yosa's filming with right now, which is my Sigma Art Series 24 millimeter wide angle, just cause it's faster. It's a 1.4 uh, speed, 1.4 aperture. Um, SD cards can never have too many of these suckers. And we're gonna be using some filters. I'll, I'll go over uh, uh, what they do, but it's a polarized uh, filter as well as a ND filter. Um, batteries, lots of batteries. Always bring extra batteries. Number one uh, most important part about a uh, road trip in Canada, Tim Hortons coffee. And it's hot too, so it's uh, perfection. What'd you get, Yosef? I got a donut. You got a That's donut. That's all I need. That's all he needs. He doesn't, he doesn't drink coffee. Donut and water. Coffee's not good for you. It's not. But it's, it's the terrible. best. This is coffee number like four today. Just like mm. inject it into my veins, you know? Okay, so very important in the Canadian wild up here in Kananaskis, it is bear country and uh, it is spring. So it is the time of year that they come out and they're very hungry and can be very aggressive. So we got to keep an eye out on that. What are we going to do if we run into a bear? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends what kind of bear. What do we do if we run into a black bear? Oh, I'm just going to fight it. Yeah, we're going to fight it. Yeah. Okay. Dude. So that was a bear. <laughs> what are the odds? We we're just talking about it. Don't look back, don't forget, you gotta let know why you can. Don't you wait, don't you wait until the So when you guys go out to take photographs and uh, if there's other people here, uh, a really, really, really good business move and honestly just generally, you know, a good thing to do, uh, you know, as a fellow human is offer to take their photograph, uh, you know, say, say that, hey, I'm a professional photographer. Do you guys want, uh, you know, a high res edited image? I'm glad to take a few. Uh, just, you know, if you have a business card, give them one, which I forgot mine. But uh, get their email and uh, and 
edit some photos for them. You get practice editing, you get practice, you know, interacting with other people if you're doing like event photography and you're practicing shooting portraits. It's, uh, I think it's a lovely thing to do. Steve, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Where, uh, where are you guys from? Uh, we're from uh, Northampton in England. Bro, my guy, this walk was uh, this walk was a lot more than I remember it being a long time ago. But we're making progress. We're uh, we're well on our way to the top. But uh, I can't complain. This is phenomenal that I get to do this for work. And then of course there's you know the the need for us to to get a break. You know, get out of the city. Come breathe that fresh Canadian air. Oh, oh, I think I have a crack on my lens. Is that a crack? Oh, thank God. It's not a crack. It was, but a piece of hair. Guys, this is beautiful. Let's check this out. The hills they seem all green, but they hide all the monsters. You kept holding my hand as you reached for water. Okay, so we made it to the spot. It's not quite what I remembered like eight or nine years ago, but it's still great. We got uh, the main creek behind us here, the main river behind us, and then we have uh, a forest full of mini creeks flowing into it. It's really cool. I'm gonna take a shot of it now, and I'm gonna use long exposure. So. Uh, I did tell you guys I wanted to teach you guys how to do those kind of shots, so I'm just gonna walk you through it really quick, how I'm getting um, that blurry, ghosty kind of look that the water had in the photos that you guys saw uh, previously. So first and foremost, very important, uh, tripod, so that uh, there's no motion blur, right? Because you're gonna be taking this photograph at a very, very slow shutter speed. Uh, the other ones were taken at about two or three seconds, which again, that's what allows the water to be blurry. You're not capturing that photo right when the water, uh, you know, you're not, you're not taking that shot right as the water as it is. You're capturing everything that passes through in that two or three seconds, which is, gives you that smooth, smoky, ghosty kind of look. Next thing you're gonna want uh, is a polarized filter. You don't need the polarized filter, but I find it helps uh, calm down those highlights and, uh, um, add some extra uh, detail like in the sky or anything that's too bright. It also has a really nice effect on the water as well. This is the most important one. This is the ND filter. Now what this guy is going to do is it's going to get rid of any glare uh, from the water and it's going to accentuate the details and the color uh, underneath the water which is really awesome. You're not going to notice very much on the parts of water that are moving really fast but anything that's still you're gonna notice it. And that's something you cannot do in post-production. You have to capture it um, in the moment with an ND filter. All right, this next bit is totally like personal preference as well as depending on the scenario that you're in um, and the lighting you have to work with. So because you're using a really slow shutter speed of like two or three or four seconds, whatever uh, around that area, 
you're gonna let a lot of light in, so your photo is gonna be super duper ex overexposed. You gotta compensate for that. Your polarizing lens is gonna help with that for sure. It's gonna make it uh, uh, darker, or sorry, not your lens, your your filter. Um, but what you're gonna wanna do is most likely take your aperture and close it right down. I'm gonna be shooting on an aperture of 16, and then your ISO uh, adjust accordingly. You'll probably bump that all the way down to 100, 64, or into the low one, low two. Okay, now I'm gonna take a quick photo with not those settings, with just a quick fast shutter speed so that you guys can see the difference of what we're going for. So this guy, I'm gonna bump up to, uh, I'm gonna bump up to like three, one three hundredth of a second and adjust the other settings accordingly. And this is what you're gonna get. All right, as you can tell, it does not have that like blurry, ghosty look. It's still a, a nice photo relatively, but this is gonna amp up your photo a ton. Check it out. Okay, so um, I think it's at the point where either I don't know where I'm going <laughs> or uh, we pass there. I don't know. Uh, it, the thing is, is like the spot could be just up the river, but I'm pretty beat. I'm out of shape. Um, also went eight years ago. Yeah, and we went eight years ago. The the lands change over time. You know, we had a major flood in Alberta. It, who knows? But uh, you know what? We got some great shots, and uh, we covered the basics of long exposure and that uh, that cool water effect. So I'm I'm happy. What do you think, Yosef? Should we turn around? Yeah, I'm good to turn around. It's still a trek back, so it's still a trek, and we might have that bear waiting for us. No, I'm gonna All mess right. it up. Let's go.